This is a job. And it's their job to do the activities. Now, here's a question for you. How many of you, by a show of hands, have had a, what I'll call a real job with a paycheck prior to real estate? So just about every single one of us, all right? So, all right, now, on a piece of paper, I want you to write down the amount of money you earn at the most, at the highest level, from that job. 20,000, 30,000, 60,000, 80,000, 100,000, whatever it is that you earn. Write it down on a piece of paper. What do you earn from that job? Now, the next question right below that is, what did that employer expect you to do for that amount of money per week, per month, per year? So I worked for a um, train wreck guy. It's a whole different story. I didn't cause the train wrecks. We picked them up, OK? Um, and I used to get paid the highest level. I, I would get paid $30,000 a year, all right? That was back in 74, 75. So we get paid $30,000 a year for doing the work. I was on call 24 hours a day. Um, I had to work whatever I had to work. I had a, a suitcase packed and ready to go in the trunk of my car that if I, I would go at a moment's notice to, we handled train derailments for um, seven railroads in 11 western states. So I was Johnny on the spot. then. From the field, I would have to try to sell the merchandise out there. That was my job for $30,000 a year. I was on, as far as he was concerned, 24-7. Any of you have employers that used to pay you money and kind of expect that type of an attitude? Nobody did? Oh, OK, yeah. Wait, look, I got to tell you something. Whether you think you did or you didn't, you did. Your employer, whatever they were paying you. So here's the question. Whatever that employer was paying you, let's say they were paying you thirty-five, forty thousand dollars a year. You worked at Nordstrom's. You worked forty hours a week, or maybe in retail you worked fifty hours a week. And you were supposed to show up, and you're supposed to stand on your feet, and you're supposed to look nice, and you're supposed to always have a smile on your face. And you had to work weekends, and you had to work evenings. That's retail, right? Say yes. 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 Okay. Most, what's the most you could probably make at a Nordstrom's? Okay. So sixty thousand dollars a year, okay? Seventy thousand, thirty thousand, for somewhere in that neighborhood, for working forty, fifty hours, on commission, maybe a little bit of a base, <coughs> dragging out stacks of shoes, you know, putting them on smelly feet. Ugh. Jeez, I can't even imagine. Um, for sixty thousand dollars a year. All right. And would you? Would your employer expect you to work hard? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. And would they expect you to show up when you're supposed to show up? Right. Yes. yes. Okay. And would they expect you not to take off? It just went. You know, like if your grandmother or somebody was sick, you couldn't just generally call in and say, "Well, I got to leave at three o'clock today to take grandma." over to the doctor. You couldn't do that, right? No. Okay. So here's a question for you. What if that employer, what if, if your goal is $100,000 a year, that means that you would be earning $8,300 a month. So write that down. $8,300 a month. If your goal is $200,000 a year, and a lot of you, your goal is at least $200,000 a year, you would be getting paid $16,600 a month. So write down $16,600. Now let me ask you a question. If your employer was paying you $16,000 a month, every month they were writing you a check and handing it to you, how hard do you think they would expect you to work? How much? 
100% of the time, maybe 200%. I guarantee you, if I was writing you a check for $16,000 a month, you would never see your families. <laughs> Neil, and when there's, no, when there's no customers, guess what you gotta do? Prospect, get on the phone you gotta get, and call clients. So, <laughs> right, okay, she said, if there's no customers in the store and retail, you gotta get on the phone and go through some past tickets and call clients and use the, do the P word, the prospecting. But what I wanna do is I want you to get in the mindset. The top producers go to work thinking this is a job that they have an employer that's expecting certain things from them. And they have these goals. If your goal was $300,000 a year, and a lot of your goals are $300,000, that's $25,000 a month that an employer would be paying you. Now here's a question. Those of you whose goals are $200,000 for $16,000 a month, or 300000 for $25,000 a month. Are you working as hard today for that kind of money similar to how hard you would expect your employer to make you work if they were paying you that kind of a check? Are you? So here's my question because I'm getting, it got awful quiet in here. <laughs> it's like really quiet. So here's an interesting question. How can you possibly expect to get paid $25,000 a month or $16,000 a month if you're not putting in the effort on a daily, weekly basis to earn that kind of money? So when you go to work every day, if your goal is $25,000 a month, then you need to think in terms of somebody's going to hand you that check for $25,000, you need to be doing that work. Well, maybe if you can't see the $25,000 a month, how about just $8,000 a month? We already established, you know, a top, a average top salesperson at a Nordstrom's type company that sells the heck out of stuff probably earns about 5000 a month, and you've got to show up all the time. You have to work all the weekends. You have to work all the holidays. You have to work 10-hour days. You go in at 10 in the morning. You don't come home until 10 at night. Are you doing the same thing for your goal? You have to remember that every single day.